I want to bar we are going to talk about metrics that matter to in today's session there are a lot of metrics what are metrics you see any any digital marketing report any report for that matter there are so many metrics right but we are going to find out the ones that you really need the ones that mean something that's it that's what we are going to find have any of you gone in a hanif bus yeah and you survived you know how fast they are they're reckless right but you you felt the speed when i told you about hanif why there are two reasons speed is a very good metric it becomes a good metric because one it's comparative you know the speed of hanif versus your own car or own vehicle and it's understandable you get it hanif is going to kill me you get that right so any good metric has two important things one it needs to be understandable and it needs to be comparative compare it must be able to compare previous year uh, maybe a different segment uh, people who are using a certain device whatever and there's another thing a good metric should be able to change the way you behave for example i know if i eat x amount of um, rice i am going to get y amount fat i know that right so i know i can based on my weight i can decide what i need to do right a good metric changes the way you behave so it's very important when we are identifying metrics to understand what are the most important metrics the most important metrics are the metrics that represent the problem that you are solving right as a business what is the problem you are solving what is the problem youtube is solving they want to help you find videos that you like really fast right and give you good recommendations that's what they want to do so what is the primary metric you think they are measuring what is that one primary thing they are measuring one primary metric not views no not subscriptions none of that number of minutes viewed per user do you see if they give us good re recommendations so that we spend more time the search is amazing because we find what we want and we spend more time what happens when we spend more time they make more money right your engagement is much better you have a high engagement there are people spending so much time you are showing so much ads right so this one tells us the businesses if the business is achieving the objectives and also it also shows if the user is achieving our objectives we came to watch good videos right so this is a very good metric what do you think google is measuring google search what do you think no no can't guess it. it's a simple thing no bounce rate that's it they measure bounce rate you know why because google is in the business of helping you find the most relevant information very fast right so let's say you search for something and you are on the first page of google let's say i search for 10 minute school right and i immediately get what i want so i click on 10 minute school and go to 10 minute school i don't go to second page of google right bounce rate is when somebody visits your site but doesn't navigate anywhere else just leaves the site so it counts as bounce right for google since we are not going to second page because we are finding what is relevant very fast we never want to go to the second page right so what happens to google their bounce rate increases that is their business for a normal content marketing business for 10 minute school is bounce rate a good thing no they have to try and reduce it right we want people to spend more time but google's context is different do you get it it's a simple thing right they measure bounce rate and what does the big boy measure who's the big boy amazon what does amazon measure what do you guys think conversion rate click through rate no no add to cart no 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 they measure the time that the time taken from the moment you came to the website and between the time that takes you to add something to the cart for example as a user i came to amazon at x time and then i added something to cart at x plus t time right so they want to continuously they measure this t and they want to continuously decrease this t right that's why they got amazing recommendations that's why they got an amazing search everything that they do all of the innovations that happens around them is around this t right they're solving for that that's their business if more people are making more orders faster that means they're making more money right there is something common for all of the three metrics that i told you other than all of them being 
understandable, comparative, and also being able to change the way we behave, there is one more thing. What is that? What is that? It's simple. Think. Think about you. Yeah, think about you. Why do you use these products? Right? Custom experience. All of them talk about custom experience, right? They all of these metrics talk about user experience. Number of minutes viewed increasing means you are having a good user experience. You like what is coming, right? If you if Google is having a high bounce rate, means you find you are finding whatever that you want to fa find fast and relevant results. That's increasing, right? And if you are if you are adding cart stuff to cart immediately, that means you are finding the product you want and you are buying it very fast. All of this shows satisfaction, right? All of these are customer metrics. So why should we focus on customer metrics? What's the whole hype about customer metrics? Why? What's the whole hype about being customer centric? Because a business can only do three things. That's it. Three things. One, either increase revenue, you can make more sales, or decrease cost. Different ways, maybe savings from advertising, this, that, decrease cost, or you can improve customer experience. The only thing that helps you improve your revenue and decrease cost is by improving your customer experience. If you improve your customer experience, people are going to buy from you more. You're going to have good word of mouth so you don't have to spend too much on advertising. So there are so many things going to happen because you solve for the customer. That's the most important thing. So how do you verify a metric? So you, they send you paid sessions, this duration, that, with this whole, a whole bunch of things, right? So on an average, a report has about 30, I mean, maybe, I don't know, 30 metrics. So how do you, what, what are the metrics that are important? Take a metric and ask the question, by solving for this metric, will it either increase my revenue, will it either decrease my cost, or will it improve my customer experience? If it can do any of these three things, then it's a good metric. If it can't, it's not a good metric. Is Facebook likes a good metric? Not really. It can tell you about customer experience, but if you prioritize all of the matrices, then Facebook is going to be at the bottom. But Facebook shares? Yes, definitely. You don't share anything if you don't like it. Facebook shares is a very good metric. That's it. That's about it. That's how you verify metrics.